Glyphosate is widely used herbicide for the control of a variety of weeds such as grasses, broadleaf weeds and scissors. And it is predominantly used as a pre-emergence herbicide and also as a crop termination tool. Its use has been increased a lot since the introduction of glyphosate resistant crop variety, especially in corn, soybean and cotton. And also at the same time, there's been a lot of public outrage against this herbicide and a lot of public misconception that people have about glyphosate. And we're going to talk about all of those pros and cons that glyphosate has today. What are you buying here? Oh, just some milk and wine. Milk and wine? That yeah. has a glyphosate on it? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you like butterflies? I love butterflies, but I'm so sad because glyphosate is killing all the butterflies, especially the monarchs. So those were some of the myths that general public had about glyphosate, but definitely glyphosate had certain disadvantages. One of the advantages of this herbicide is the emergence of herbicide resistant weed species. And currently there are approximately 45 weed species worldwide. They are resistant against glyphosate application. And major weed species uh, that have been resistant against glyphosate are water hemp, ragweed, pigweed, and these weeds are the biggest production problem in the United States. So in addition to that, uh, there is a lot of uh, drifting issue happening with the glyphosate application. And now in the United States, a lot of the cotton, corn, soybean varieties grown are glyphosate resistant crop varieties. And at the same time, we have the traditional grower who grow traditional variety, non-traded variety of these crops and also other different kind of crops. And whenever the field with the glyphosate resistance crop varieties are sprayed with the glyphosate, then the glyphosate got, gets drifted with the neighboring field with different crops and different varieties. And uh, as we know, glyphosate are very effective herbicide. Even a small drift can cause a significant injury and a crop loss to the neighboring field. So these were some of the misconceptions about the glyphosate that the public had and some of the actual disadvantages associated to the product. But at the same time, it is a very really cheaper product, it's very effective even in the lower doses, it's very broad spectrum, it kills all kinds of weeds and it's easier to apply and it's one of the widely used herbicide in the United States. Uh, but the challenge here is we have to take advantage of the product at the same time be able to address all of the possible disadvantages that the product can have. So as a conclusion, what I want to say here is further research and more effort is required clarify the toxicological and environmental profile of this compound. At the same time, scientists need to communicate more to the general public to educate them about the possible impact that glyphosate can have on the human health and environment. <laughs>